Aaron's here now. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning. 2018. Happy Monday. <laughs> yeah, happy Monday. <laughs> Well, now it's time for trending. We're talking about top weekend movies, a rich celebrity, and a soda tax. But first up, its heroes may be small, but its box office pull is large as Ant-Man and the Wasp topped the weekend box office. Ant-Man sold an estimated $76 million in tickets in its first weekend out. Incredibles 2 came in second, followed by Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So this was the first uh, weekend for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Disney estimated $80 million, came just short of $4 million. And I, oh, really? Yeah. And I heard that it was uh, not a disappointment. No, I heard no. good things, yeah. only good things so far. So heard I'm, really great things. Yeah, I mean, I like the first one. I unexpectedly like the first one. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it because Paul Rudd isn't someone I would uh, think is a oh, superhero necessarily. He's hilarious though. Right. So he's I mean, so he is good at what he does. Yeah, he does. I like him. He seems like a good guy. I don't know him honestly. I'd like to meet him. So if you hear this, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Let me know. Okay. But I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to actually way. seeing this movie because I haven't seen it yet. But I do like Michael Douglas and um, who is it? Michelle Pfeiffer now? Yes. So looking forward to it. Also, I discovered this last week, in case you didn't know, the original Jurassic Park is on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, oh. you need to watch it. Follow up. So I watched it last week. The second one and the third one are too. Because oh. I, I watched it's it. Dangerous. I watched it because you told me. <laughs> Christy told me that the original Jurassic Park was on. Yeah, I was there. really excited so I watched about it. Well, because nothing's like the original one, right? Oh, no, it's so good. It is really good. So good. Yeah. I loved it. Well, Mark Zuckerberg, you know Mark Zuckerberg, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. He continues to climb the ranks of richest people in the world. The Facebook CEO is now number three on that list. According to Bloomberg, the 34-year-old is worth about $81.5 billion. Zuckerberg mm -hmm. now trails only Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Microsoft's Bill Gates. And, in, yeah, Microsoft's Bill Gates is uh, number two. Number two. and a Jeff, lot of people were surprised about. Jeff Bezos has, surprising. like, 140-some billion. Yes. It's Casual. Un unfathomable. So, like, what do you even do with that money? Like, <laughs> to put it, to put it in perspective, <laughs> a billion is a thousand millions. <laughs> So to put it into that means that you can buy whatever we Zuckerberg want. now has what was it, eighty-one and a half thousand sets of a million dollars. Uh, Thank you for that. Is feeling generous. Yep. Yes, me. I <laughs> would take a donation, uh, Mark, if you're listening. The Alex Cordetti Fund for fund. better tomorrow. Yeah, you, I've been a supporter of Facebook. You know, I feel it's only right. We use Give Facebook. Back. Yeah. yeah, but it is cool. Just. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, the idea of Facebook was so just unlike anything else at the time, and now it's just one of How our How big apps. it is, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. And I don't know, people always debate whether Facebook will continue to be like the number one social media, but I think that over time, I think it's been successful in maintaining some updates and kind of competing with the others and then buying Instagram. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's doing everything smart because when it saw that Instagram is probably its top Bigger, competitor, yeah, yeah. then it purchased it. So therefore, smart. Smart. That's Which all I gotta is exactly say. why he has so much money. Yep. Congrats, Mark. Innovation. <laughs> well, Seattle's so-called soda tax is proving to be a sweet deal for the city's finances. A 175 an ounce surcharge on sweetened beverages went into effect there on January 1st. It's in its first three months. The tax brought in nearly four and a half million dollars, about a million more than it was expected to. Mm -hmm. Seattle officials say the law is aimed at reducing obesity, not raising revenues. But it's raising revenues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, that's if they a good one. one. If they didn't want the money from that, then they wouldn't have made a tax. Right. You know what this reminds me of? Parks and Rec with Sweetums. You guys ever seen that? Where there's a soda tax? But the sodas are like the size of your face, so it's like a huge tax, and it's a huge problem in that town, too. And they debate whether it's for the revenue of the town or to actually decrease obesity. So it's the same issue, but it was just funny to me because that really stuck out in an episode, and now it's actually like a real thing. But I would imagine that people just don't care. They'll still buy the soda, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's so, true. Like, how, how much is the tax again? $1.75 an ounce? An ounce? That's a lot. Okay, that is actually a lot, now that I think about Clearly it. Clearly, they don't care. So, wait, if you get if you get a 32-ounce soda, yeah, right, that's then does that mean that you're paying $1.75 <laughs> for every one every of those ounce? 32 ounces? That's, that's because that's be going right. to add up to be like a $60, be right. $70 soda. <laughs> $60. No, no, that, no, that can't, that can't be, right. be right. Is no. it, is it is 1.75 1, 1. 1. cents well, an ounce? Because then that would add... 1.75. 
point one seven five. Whatever's in our scripts doesn't make any. Well, it's a dollar well, seventy five. Keep talking and we'll look it we'll up. Yeah, figure we're, it out. We're, we're fact checking that. <laughs> well, okay. The thing about soda is that if you're really keep craving, talking, I know you guys can. Okay, here's the debate. Do you call it soda, soda or pop? Because I say pop. It I depends pop. on what kind Location of what part of the country you are in the country. Yeah. The way the way that I grew up, because my family's more from the south, is it's soda. everything's a Coke. Oh, everything's, everything's a, Coke. a Coke. Yep. What kind of Coke do you want? That's so confusing. That's, I don't. That's how they do it. Well, we would say, you know, from the birds of Chicago, I would say, I would think you would say pop too. Would you? I say pop. pop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that makes I, sense. I would say soda, so or Coke. Soda pop. Soda pop. I guess it's that's a debate. I would like to know Seattle. what you guys think about that. What is your favorite pop? Do you have one or soda? Coke, Coke from McDonald's. Right, yes, Coke from McDonald's. Coke from no, McDonald's. There is actually a reason that that's better than lemon. normal. It's lemon. Because of the way that they do it. Isn't it the lemon and the Coke? I've heard that they put lemon in it. Nearly two cents per ounce, it says. Two cents an ounce, yeah. That's so right. 1.75 well, cents an ounce. So almost okay. nothing. So then this isn't that big of a deal. Because if you're getting a 12 ounce can <laughs> of Coke or whatever, then that's only they about 15 say? cents extra. They interviewed somebody at a restaurant. Uh, the, the owner of a restaurant, she said, we are sure making a lot more lemonade. <laughs> Which it's also has sugar really on funny. it. Way to, way to fight obesity. Well, it's like actually really lemon, funny. But make lemonade and maybe Sprite and yeah. Coke and all that jazz. But we want to know what you guys think today. We want to know what is your favorite soda slash pop slash Coke, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. Soda pop. Soda pop. Whatever you want to say, go to our Facebook page, take a vote, comment with your favorite because there are so many out there. I'd like to know what you guys think. But now we're getting a special help, or should I say helpers with the helpers. helpers. Double Trouble is heading your way in our Kidcaster. That's coming up.